One day, this river could supply electricity to the entire African continent. The Congo, with its constant flow of 42,000 cubic meters per second, has the highest hydroelectric potential in the world. The Inga Dam lies near the Atlantic Ocean. Southern African countries are green with envy. The whole region, the problem of energy will end. So this is marvelous. But money is needed. Yes, money is needed. So our governments must work together with a, a different uh, financial institutions and uh, bring resources to invest in Inga, because that will resolve the problems of energy shortage. Many hope the Grand Inga project will help the estimated 500 million Africans without access to electricity. But getting the funds is another matter. The two existing dams need massive renovation work, and there is a project to build two additional ones. Each turbine produces enough electricity to supply a modern city of half a million inhabitants, but most of the 14 existing turbines are out of order. In this room, current is transformed into power and then transferred to the copper mines of southern Congo, about 2,000 kilometers away, and even to South Africa, thanks to the support of the World Bank. But for those who live near the dam, wood is the only energy source. Children mill about doing their chores. They complain there is no electricity at home. Nothing has changed in the nearby villages. Just like in the colonial rule, foreign investments only serve the purpose of the mining industry. The cable is the current. The current. And for you? For you it works, but not for us. It doesn't bring light to the villages here, it gives us nothing. But the dam brings electricity to places as far as South Africa. If it goes there, it can bring us money, but to the coffers of the state, not to us, the people. Huge investments are needed to improve the capacity of this dam. However, the Congo and the neighboring countries will have to work together with the support of the international community to get the necessary funds. Construction should start in about five years, with many hoping this untapped resource will solve Africa's energy problems. <laughs>